Al-Shabaab militants in Somalia have launched an attack on an African Union peacekeeper base in Mogadishu. The fighters detonated two car bombs outside the base in the town of Bulamara, southwest of the capital. Local residents say they heard heavy exchanges of gunfire, which lasted more than three hours. The African Union, with its 54 member nations, has peace and prosperity across the continent as its goal. In recent years, the Islamist militants have lost control of most of Somalia's urban areas, but they frequently detonate bombs in the capital Mogadishu and occasionally attack peacekeepers. Nearly 650 African migrants are temporarily held in a detention center in Yemen awaiting deportation. Stuck in limbo in wartime Yemen, they lack access to food and basic needs. Anxious and hungry, hundreds of African migrants lie cramped together on the ground of an open-air warehouse in the southern Yemeni port city of Aden. Most are from desperately poor horn of Africa countries, like tens of thousands each year, were willing to risk the treacherous journey through the war-torn, impoverished Yemen. They came to Yemen in the hope of finding work in wealthy Gulf Arab states. Instead, the 600 or so men are caught and detained by the Yemeni authorities. They await deportation and are prevented from leaving their makeshift jails by armed soldiers. Conditions at the warehouse are growing increasingly desperate. Several days ago, authorities stopped handing out food and basic supplies. I came from Djibouti to work. They used to give us small amounts of food. If there is no food, we will die. If there is no solution, they will deport us to our countries or get us out of here. Yemen, the poorest country on the Arab Peninsula, has long been a transit point for migrants and refugees from East Africa, many of whom are fleeing hunger and violence. The route was unsafe long before Yemen descended into all-out war in 2015. Khaled al Elwani, a local official who until recently oversaw the deportation of migrants back to their home countries, says up to 15,000 migrants are arrested at city checkpoints each month. This is a shelter for illegal migrants and a deportation center. We are currently holding 650 African migrants who came illegally to the Yemeni shores from Djibouti. They are temporarily detained until we deport them to where they came from. The Ministry of Interior stopped sending food supplies for three days now, for no reason at all. Elwani said he was fired by the Interior Ministry for refusing to cooperate with a plan to relocate the center. A ministry official says the aim of the move to a new facility had been to improve conditions for the migrants while they await deportation. Uh, the Minister of Interior decided to move the center to another location in La Hedge Governorate under the supervision of the ministry. This center will be suitable with more resources as well as a new management that can run the place without the practices that migrants were subjected to in the previous center. In addition, the previous center does not belong to the Ministry of Interior. It belongs to the Ministry of Fisheries and we were asked by the Ministry of Fisheries to give back the building. Saudi Arabia and a coalition of mostly Gulf Arab allies are fighting to restore Yemen's exiled authorities.